All right, got a pretty early start this morning. I got a 300 foot water line here. I really want to get all this in the ground today. I don't have a lot of time to actually get all this done. We're going to an appointment with a midwife for my wife who's pregnant with twins and I've got till 11.30, it's 8.30 now. Routing this water from here down there and we'll put off cutoffs here but he's before too long he's gonna get into the water pipe that goes to our house it's switched off over there but this line that runs under here is live with water so I'm gonna try to put in a temporary cutoff right here just so we can keep rolling with moving dirt while he's got time first we got to dig the line up though So what I have to do is cut this live water line and cap it off. Okay, I'm trying to look and see what I have that I could use to cap that off. I've got a bunch of these, but they're, these are half inch, too small, little uh, quick connects. What I'm about to do actually scares me a little bit. I'm gonna cut this live water line. I don't really have a proper kit to put on the end. What I do know is that One of these things I have in my hand will be the right size to go in there, and if it's a little too small to stop the water flow, I can use plastic. The downside of this is that um, if we get this wrong, one, the neighbor will lose water, two, we'll have a thousand gallons pour out into a hole in the yard, then we'll be working underwater. I th I'm pretty confident though, I'm not just rushed, I'm confident and rushed, that something in my hand will work to stop the flow. I will only have a few seconds really to do it before we just are underwater in this hole. I know with the pressure, with the amount of pressure on here, I can stop it with my thumb. It's not super high pressure. But I don't want to be stuck here all day with my thumb in it, do I? <laughs> no. If all of this is too small, we can use plastic to make it work as a seal. So. So if I was if I was going like this, this I I think we're gonna use this. Ugh. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Here comes a bunch of water. All right. Let's check the size on this. Okay, that's too small. Two layers of plastic. Okay. okay, that basically went not as poorly as it could go, but almost as poorly as it could go. So I had to run down to the barn, dig my way into the barn down there. I thought I had all my tools out. That was a lot more pressure than I expected. I have the hose running down the hill, so it should be a little less pressure right now. So I'm actually going to undo this and get something that fits better, throw some hose clamps on it, hopefully. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah, that definitely is less pressure. Magic marker, will that fit? Nope, not tight enough. Just bailing this out so I can see if it's still leaking or not. All right, there is a small leak down there. It's it's not much, but it will eventually fill this hole. I'm using silicone thread tape and making a tapered plug. I think this one's gonna work. I think that'll get it. Let's try it. All righty, here we go. You make... Okay.
gonna snag those hose clamps down here. All right, that got it. That's good news. I'll tell him so he doesn't have to worry about that line anymore. I got that cut off. Guys, um, let's see, what's next? Put it all by the door to the house. Okay, all this conduit is to carry a power line, a future power line. I'm not gonna do all this digging and not put a line in the ground. Um, so that is gonna run down with this water line in this nice deep ditch. The power line's gonna drop off at the corner of this barn. I'm just running that for now. I can shove a wire through it later. Let me get this grapevine out of the way. This grapevine was the only total, total casualty so far from the digging. I'm gonna throw it in water though. I'm hoping, I know it might sound crazy, I'm hoping this will still grow. Are the pigs liking all this dirt? for helping. Barefoot and pregnant. No, you're filthy. He's I'll not dirty. I'll hug you from behind. Give him a hug. He's a hard working man. Oh. Hey, can you help me with this hole for a minute? Uh, Alright, what do you think? Uh, wow. I'm pretty amazed at how much has been done. And you guys are amazing helping your dad. They've helped me so much, honestly. They've done a ton of work and helped watch Wilder. beautiful, my garden looks incredible, my house is being worked on, and it's my first midwife appointment, like official midwife appointment, more on that, but super, super stoked. You gonna be ready for my appointment, or are you gonna take a shower? I tried to. Grandma, I don't know if Grandpa's coming, Grandma's coming to watch the kids. We're leaving a little early to have a date. We haven't had a date in months. Okay, I think we got everything hand dug. Justice has one more section of conduit to glue. We're gonna lay this water line in with the ends exposed. So if he has, uh, if our digging friend has um, time, he can bury the middle section, the majority of it, before the rain comes and turns his piles to sloppy. In here. Um, when we uncoil this, it's gonna be like a wild snake. So I'm gonna have to hold it. Justice, you're gonna have to direct the Pin this end down. All right, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. This roll isn't. We got like five minutes to work and then we have to go. We're doing it. We're getting it done. I don't know if he'll have time to bury it or he might want me to be here to bury it so I can move rocks and stuff. <sighs> Just running down to the last minute, but I got it all in. I got it in. I got it in. So if he's got time, he's going to fill most of that to avoid a disastrous rain event. Guys, I couldn't have done it without you, honestly, because you all helped so much with the animals and help with the ditches. I literally couldn't have done it. And we finished just not quite in time, but close enough. I'm just on time. I've been up since like, I don't even know what time. 5.45 or 6.15, I can't remember. And just going nonstop. Me and woke up, actually Brian woke up last, but we were Sorry I'm late. Oh, it's okay. Thanks for coming, Grandma. You're welcome. Let's go get ready. I'm going to go change my clothes and get ready now. It occurred to me that so many 
of you may be wondering why this would be my first midwife appointment whenever I am 14 weeks pregnant. But first of all, I've had to switch care providers. We'll explain all that in a video one day. Um, <clears throat> She's having twins. It's because I'm having twins. But also, I've had two doctor's appointments already. And honestly, as many babies as I've had, if this wasn't twins, I probably still wouldn't have an appointment for a little bit longer. Unless there's like complications or higher risk, you just don't need to see a provider quite so early <clears throat> in your pregnancy. So now I'm going to my midwife and actually, I've never met this lady in person. I have spoken to her on the phone. I know quite a few people who have birthed with her. As a matter of fact, Arthur's mom had a baby with this midwife. A few years ago. Yeah, 20 something years ago. Um, so I feel like I kind of know her, but this will be like the first day that I've actually ever met her. I and met her. Arthur's met her when he was a kid. So I'm super excited. I love my prenatal appointments and as of right now, as long as there's no like true medical reason not to, we won't be having a home birth, but we'll be having like a birth center birth. Um, obviously that can change and there's more risk of that changing or more possibility of it changing with twin birth. Um, but for now, the hope is a birth center birth, which we'll tell you guys more about and the reasonings and all that kind of stuff eventually. It's been so interesting for me, this birth, because I kind of feel like I'm experiencing it all, again, like pregnancy and birth for the first time. Because there's a whole lot to learn um, about twin pregnancy and twin birth and twin postpartum. And um, so I've just been reading a ton and educating myself on everything, which if you know me, that's how I feel peaceful is through education and knowledge and research and I don't mean like deep spiritual peace I just mean like I like knowing what's going on and I like being informed and I like being able to make my own decisions and know what my choices are before I have to make them especially when it comes to birth and especially when it comes to health and my children and any kind of medical decisions mostly I'm excited to hear our babies heartbeats because we've seen them on the ultrasound, but we didn't listen to the heartbeats, did we? No, he never turned the volume on. She found it right away. Thank you. 